Hello Daniel here and welcome to some of my how-to videos. Um, so today we're going to be showing you how to control your Samsung TV. which is, That's a 65 inch Samsung uh, 7 series TV running the latest firmware. And this is an iPhone 6 we're going to use running the latest iOS. They're both on the same wireless network and the the internet and everything is, is working on it. So. So what I want to do first is go to settings on the remote. Now this should work with other models of this TV, but obviously the newer the model, the better. And the latest firmware helps as well. So I want to go down to general, system manager. Now your menu system may look a bit different to this, but as long as the items are there, it should still work. Actually, we want to go somewhere else. Hang on a minute. Oh, sorry. It's so it's general system. It's general, and then it's external device manager. And what you want here is device connection manager. And you want this. You want this on here. First time only. Now, you can set that to always on or first time only. Um, Probably first time only is better, so when you connect your remote app up to it, you only get notified once. But just make sure this is um, turned on because when you connect your remote control app that you downloaded, you'll need a little pop up in the top right to come on and give you like a permission for it to connect. And you can also check what's connected here as well. So, as you can see on here, my iPhone and a couple of other bits are connected and they work fine. So make sure that's on, make sure it's all on the same wireless network because I know a lot of people on my other videos don't get, can't get this working but it's all on the same wireless, latest firmware, it should be fine. Right, anyway, so we made sure those settings are on. So the app we're going to be using is um, not the, there are a few apps available. One of the apps I tried which just will not work, I have no idea why, is Samsung Smart View. And this is for casting and controlling the TV. But uh, when you um, try and connect it up, let's try finer TVs. This one here, Samsung 7. Nothing comes up on the TV. And eventually it says, it gives an error message basically. So as you can see, still nothing's coming up on the TV. You'd think that would work, considering it's a, an official Samsung app. It does take a few seconds for this to find it. Connection failed, yeah. It is all turned on and everything, so we're just going to not bother with that one. So if you are trying this one and it's not working for you, just leave it alone. Now, the other app. So I've I've searched Samsung TV Remote, and the other app I found is... I can't find it on that list now, but it's called... Uh, Sam Sam remote so we tap that one let me go here it's already trying to connect and it's told me up there and I need to allow it so if I just press OK I want to allow that okay no one of our now oh, we've got an airplane I wonder if you can pay for this app. You probably can. I reckon it's probably worth it. So anyway, um, it's connected up, no problem at all. And uh, as you can see, if I press the volume button, it's turned it up and down. And it's got a bit of ni nice little bit of feedback on the app as well. So um, definitely, definitely give that one a go. So if you are looking for an app to control your Samsung TV um, that works just straight away, no problems, then um, Give this, give this an app a go. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps somebody.